Hi, I'm Bjorn from Skeno. Welcome in our little studio. I'm ready for another tutorial and it is our Merrill head and scarf, and scarf kit. So you can knit with three skeins of yarn, two skeins Monica yarn and one skein of our Venice yarn. A really cozy cuddling set. A head and a scarf. And in our later um, little movie uh, tasks, I will show you how this is all coming together. I will do a little knitting uh, sample with you, how I do the edges and the yarn over with uh, the knit two together, and to do this wonderful texture. Um, the special is that all three yarns are bulky weight. You use needle 10 and 11 for the scarf only the 11 and because you knit two together you will have a direction and the scarf starts making all by themselves a little bias shape. I like it a lot. The three uh, sizes are described in our pattern so you can make a small long scarf, a wider shorter scarf or if you don't like the head at all because you don't so knit just a shawl and the pattern will give you direction for the shawl as well. The shawl will have a size of uh, approximately 14 by 70 inches, so it's a nice cuddling shawl, and uh, I think you will like it. So follow me in my studio, and let's work together. Welcome in my studio. I want to share with you the scarf first, which one you see here. And out of the sudden, if, even if uh, the scarf is knitted back and forth with no bias, it shows a bias. Why? It is the result of knitting two stitches together. The sequence is two rows of the Venice yarn and two rows of the Monica yarn. And the Venice yarn is yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together. And everything goes in one direction, and therefore it makes a bias. So if you want to stretch it, it just doesn't work. But I think it adds a little bit of character to it. I had to adjust my pattern after I finished the scarf. As you can see, the right border in garter stitch is smaller than the left border in garter stitch, even if three stitches each are being done for this scarf. The reason why this is smaller, the row, the first row with the Venice yarn is yarn over, so you create the hole. And on the end you have knit two together, and the knit two together stitch adds to the width of the left border. Therefore I change it to four stitches on the right and three stitches on the left just in case you are wondering why this is different. But then you have a very, very nice balanced scarf. The pattern shows three sizes. The first is a long and smaller scarf. The second is a, a slightly wider scarf but shorter. And the third option is a shawl. You just cast on more stitches and there is no yarn for the head just in case you like a shawl and not the head. Otherwise, pick what you like. It is very easy to knit, very, very nice uh, beginner's piece. You can learn how to knit two together with yarn over, how to change yarn, and how to carry this on the side. As you can see, it's very nicely evenly done here. And my little sample, I will share with you how I'm doing this. Because you have to cross the two yarns, <coughs> excuse me, the two yarns a right way. That's actually all what I want to show you. It's nice and squishy, the yarn is going well together, and the little sparkle from the Venice yarn adds a little character. The yarn is very soft when you wear it around your neck. It's almost not to see or to feel that this is wool. So, the next section, uh, section uh, we will go over the head, which one is very easy and uh, I hope you like it all. So see you in a little bit. We're looking together at the head and uh, the head is one size but of course you can change it if you don't want to have it so balloony then you just knit less rows 
in the round or back and forth. I'm a very bad in a round knitter with uh, a five straight needles like sock knitting, so I could not avoid a seam and the seam is really not that nice. You see here is the seam, but if you wear it in the back, nobody should see it. So I will show you now how the head is knitted. It's the same pattern, so you have two rows with the Monica yarn and two rows with the Venice yarn. And the Venice yarn is always yarn over and knit two together and this makes this this nice open texture. I started the head with needle number 10 to have a nice tight band so you're not losing the head and then I just keep knitting with size uh, 10 and with size 11 to have the open texture. So I knitted here a total of 11 repeats until I reach the closing for the head. So this is actually, it goes all the way straight up, but by changing the needle here, so you have a nice edge here to hold your head on your head. So uh, going to the top here, so this is a little funny thing it's like a little star and when you have your last row here from the Monica yarn what you do is to deduct stitches means uh, increasing decreasing now of course decreasing you have to get rid of stitches what I did is I slipped the second stitch over the first before I knitted the first that means from the number of stitches on your needle by doing so you ending up after the first row having only half of the stitches uh, on your needle and of course I changed the size of the needle again from the body part knitting with 11 to this little tiny closure here uh, using needle size 10 so and you do this for several rows always the front row is being the decrease row slipping the second stitch over the first and when you turn your work and knit backwards it's all purl and you just purl the entire row and then you do this until you have a few uh, stitches I cannot remember it's in the in the pattern you have a few stitches here in the center and you cut your yarn from the ball about 24 inches thread it in the needle and you thread the, all the stitches here you have left on your needle with uh, with the thread and and you tie it and you tie it really tight so it's not making a hole here and then you need you use the same thread to closure your head here if you a very excellent knitter you of course need to knit in a round to avoid this seam so but you can adjust the pattern as you want to Again, if you want it not as high and not as balloony, you just knit a few less rows here, but otherwise it's all the same. If you knit in the round and you have to adjust, maybe you knit the scarf first and to see how the pattern comes out. And then when you cast on here and knitting in the round with your five needles, like a sock, then you can avoid the seam. So this is my little... Um, it's not a twin set but it's kind of a set a scarf and a scarf a scarf and a head or you just knit the entire yarn up with uh, for a shawl the size is very nice it is wonderful soft has a good memory it's soft on your head you cannot feel the wool at all and the little glitter in here gives a little sparkle to dress it a little up so it's your decision what you would like to do. Come on, see all of our nice colors and I think we put some nice combination together. Now I can share with you my little swatch and I changed already the left and the right border to make it more equal. So you see the first all is here so these are the four stitches these are the three I started with a few garter stitch rows with our Monica yarn it is 100% superwash merino it has a nice pearly look 
and it's really really soft and the other yarn is our Venice yarn which has the glitter inside it's non itchy and here you can really see the two rows Venice and the two rows um, from the Monica yarn so let me turn this around so you see actually the side I like better but that's your decision so here are the two rows and it's just garter stitch so you knit both rows back and forth and here you have yarn over knit two together yarn over knit two together and I want to show you how I'm doing this it's all very easy but the edge is very important and then I will show you also how you carry the yarn on the side without cutting it it's only two rows so the stretch from one to the next the distance is not as long as long as you keep it really tight and you see even my little sample wants to do this diagonal to the base now I want to share with you how I knit so the yarn here you see the Monica yarn comes out before the last stitch this is very important what I'm doing is I take the yarn from the front put it to the back and then it's very important it has to be behind the yarn you are using next that will be our Venice yarn so it has to be so it crosses over and holds this you see it here it holds this in the place in the back so you can hold it with your fingers so you not the stitches opening very much out, out, open going very tight so you knit the first stitch and the second and this is the one with the yarn so you can tie it a little bit and make the stitch tighter but you can regulate all the time later on so here's my third and this is the fourth and now comes the yarn over and knit two together so yarn over knit two together it's a little bit tough it's a fat needle so yarn over and knit two together and then you have your last three stitches for the other side so one two do not knit the last stitch just slip knit wise turn your work and the back row with the Venice yarn you knit the first stitch and the second the third and this is the one I talked about earlier it counts towards the edge it is the knit two together stitch so and now you have to purl bring the yarn in the front you slip the yarn over with another yarn over and do not knit that stitch one purl stitch slip the yarn over with another yarn over and purl the next stitch slip the yarn over with another one do not knit that stitch and here's your last one that actually needs to be knitted because these are the four stitches for the other side so one hoops one two three and slip knit wide turn your work and you know already that the yarn goes in front to the back and then you pick up your yarn which one you're using next it's a Monica yarn for the next two just garter stitch rows and again here you see the new yarn is holding the other yarn in the back grab it with your fingers so the stitch is not pulling very open so knit this is all knit row that's my stitch so you can pull it a little make it tighter knit knit and here are our two yarn overs you just knit them together so it's all knit whatever comes the two yarn overs together don't knit them separate you will add unwanted stitches so the two and you keep knitting these are the four stitches for the edge and slip knit wise turn your work 
so and the other here is my yarn but pull it away so you knit the entire row beginning with the first but don't knit the last stitch so these are the two rows with the Monica yarn and it creates on the front side a garter stitch ridge so now I'm all tangled up here you really have to take care of the two balls that they're not tangling I wasn't paying any attention now so knit all the way to the end and don't knit the last stitch slip as of knitwise so that's actually it and you see these are the two stitches, the two rows and garter stitch, and here are the yarn over, knit two together, yarn over. And because you grab here, this two, two yarn overs together, it will be covered from the yarn and it creates kind of a dot, all the way dots here. So, very simple, very easy. Um, beginners can do it very, very nicely. They can learn how to do yarn over and knit two together. They can learn how the edge has to be and I think it's very, very nice and soft. So, it's your decision. See you online or for my next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.